It's a story we've been bringing you since 5 o'clock today. A change in witness testimony means a man is no longer charged with murder. KMAX Matthew Stell joins us live from 34th and Indiana, where that shooting happened back in 2015. With more on this whole thing, Matthew. Yeah, Lowen and Brian, it's here at this intersection in 2015 where Henry Anderson Jr. lost his life, and the man that prosecutors say pulled the trigger. The trial to convict him ended just hours ago because of a story that many call came from left field. I wish I knew where he was. I found him myself. That was five years ago, and since we last talked to Henry Anderson Jr.'s mother, Octavia, the man accused of killing her son was arrested and charged with murder. Prosecutors say it was a drug deal gone bad between Anderson and Isaiah's Cabello in late 2015 that ended with Anderson being shot and killed. Fast forward to this week, Cabello's trial officially kicks off, and prosecutors believe they had a very strong case. It's not enough to say, well, we probably got the right guy. You know, there's a lot of indicators that would that would indicate that the person who was robbed is the shooter. But then unexpectedly, the state's key witness changes his testimony while on the stand. It's all changed. Now he saw the event. Years ago, he didn't see it. Initially, the witness told police he didn't see much of the crime happen, but now he says he did. And when he was questioned Tuesday, he was now able to describe how Cabello's truck looked in detail. With that change in testimony regarding vehicles and some things like that, I felt like it was not something to be pushing on anymore. Meaning that proving beyond a reasonable doubt to those 12 jurors would be quite difficult. And the only option prosecutors had was to request that the murder charges be dismissed against Cabello, bringing the trial to an abrupt end. You got to look at it constitutionally and, and ethically from that regard. It's nothing we can predict, but when it happens, you have to, you have to react to it in, a, in an ethical way. There's no real joy in any of this that uh, our hearts go out to the Anderson family, and we really hope that uh, maybe the evidence that came to light this afternoon might cause law enforcement and those responsible for finding who is responsible for taking that young man's life and hopefully bringing them to justice. We've reached out to the Anderson family about what they thought about today's proceedings. They've, just, they've declined to comment for now. In Central Lubbock, Matthew Stell, KMAC News.